Hey, are you into mythological creatures? Because I'm looking for someone to... Pegasus. How am I supposed to study in these conditions? Just got home from school. I'm gonna open the door. Um, it must be locked. This is just a random thought, but do you ever think that those toxic alpha males just reincarnated as chihuahuas? And that's why chihuahuas act like that? Did you guys know that, like, your car's dashboard has lightsabers? Look. My miles per hour has one, and then also my raging pussy meter. And, I don't know, I mean, I, I really, really liked Harry Potter as a kid. And what were you? A faggot? No, a house. Oh, a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, why did you move back to New York? And I was like, I don't know, I just really love the ambiance and like, there's such a charm to the city, you know? I don't know what it looked like for you, but this is what healing my inner child looks like. And damn, it looked good! magical child I have ever seen in my entire life. He was conceived to the hour on September 11th. <laughs> so TikTok came out with this great filter where it shows what your animal's thinking about. Bean, what are you thinking about? Oh, okay. I don't think we realize how cool maps are. Like, bitch, like, 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 this is a thing. <laughs> oh, shit! That'll do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> oh Lord, is this airborne help support your immune system? Vitamin C gummies as seen on TV? Yeah, Cole swears by them. Fuck shit, crap, fuck crap. It's so embarrassing having a nicotine addiction because I'll be like, oh my God, where's my vape? Ha. Huh? Now this is so funny. Um, No, like where is it? No, like, I need it. Like, I'm getting itchy. Like, like ew. Boy, look at him. Look at him. He got that panty dropping, pussy popping, pimp mobile right now, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Fans, the server has automatically banned you from saying a bad word. You said, man, where, where the fine ass penguin bitches at? That's why I can't be walking around. Look at this big motherfucker. Where you going? You won't bite me, you hungry bitch. I think my favorite thing about owning your own piece of shit car is that you can just key your car when you're mad enough. Nobody is stopping you from keying your own car when you get angry enough. Um, I've already done so today. So I guess I'm the only one that woke up with ice on their car today, huh? Hmm, I'm the only one? I can't drive like this. She ain't coming to work today. He ain't coming. My mother left my sister and myself at a bus stop when I was three. And I remember it like it was yesterday. And I tried to stay so strong, but it was so weak. And it's so That's funny. Tell another one. One day, all of the cities will look like this. The world will know my face. Marcus Pork. Hashtag. Famous Marcus. Nisha Barton busted for DUI. Lindsay Lohan arrested twice. Nicole Richie sentenced to jail. Paris Hilton served 23 days in jail. Ava Mendez in rehab. Kirsten Dunst in rehab with Ava. We all have different priorities. And like working is just, it's not my top priority. It's, it's never going to be. I just don't think I could move in with a romantic partner or anything because what about those times when I have to sit in front of the mirror dead-eyed and naked while I pick at my face until it bleeds for like 47 minutes straight? It's time to talk about the greatest image that's ever been posted on the internet ever. Um, the first time I saw it, it altered my brain chemistry and I've <laughs> never quite been the same person. I'm gonna read the text conversation. 
Prove me wrong, but I don't think that there is a single person who looks better with a side part than they do a middle part. Like, I'm literally crying over my nails right now because they're so ugly. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got! TikTok, please forgive me as I will be spiraling today because I just got fucking fired. I'm 23 years old. I just moved to New York City. I have no money. No money, no income. I just got fired. Hey, I just got fired. That's my whole personality trait. I just got Do you ever think about how fucking crazy it is? That humans were given so many different ways to move and we just don't move in all of those ways. Like, for example, why don't we just, why don't we just fucking do that? Or like, why don't we, like, why, why is this not normalized in our society? Earlier, my family FaceTimed me and they asked what I was doing. And I said, I was on Amazon looking for a mini rice cooker because I'm just one person. I just want a tiny, like, three cup rice cooker. And my dad said, completely deadpan, he said, hold on, where do you get mini rice? I mean, it's already so small. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about when I was 16 and I had no sense of self and no will to live and I wanted to die. Well, I had no idea I'd be where I am today. Like, my life is good. I am generally really happy and it's not that I want to die anymore, but I wouldn't mind it. Hey man, do you have a cutting board? Oh yeah, here you go. This is tiny. What could you possibly make with this cutting board, man? I make all my meals on this. Watch. Okay, see the regular box of Fruit Loops. Look at Toucan Sam. He's got feathers for fingers, okay? Feathers. Now look at the family size. What is up with these human ass arms? Why? Why did they Sonic the Hedgehog, Toucan Sam, and the family size? Like, wings? Human fucking arms. Homosexuality is truly very common in nature. It's homophobia that's not. Homosexuality is common in nature. Uh, also, eating your kids is very common in nature. A lot of animals will eat their young if they are sick, or uh, uh, others will eat their kids uh, so they don't grow up and try to assert dominance over them. Uh, so does that mean that we should also eat our kids? Yesterday, I posted a TikTok saying, I don't know why men are surprised that their G-spot is in their asshole because they only have one whole world to be. And it's the motherfuckers, it's the straights, saying, actually, I have seven. Actually, I have seven holes. And I know exactly what you did. You took that fucking pointer finger out. And you... You count it. You count it. And that's why God put that in there. Because she knew y'all would be like this. So I'm at Chick-fil-A, right? <laughs> you know, I got spicy, spicy deluxe with pepper jack. No pickles, no tomato. I opened this shit. Dog. What the fuck is this? They gave me the whole fucking piece of cheese. Like, there's like eight slices in here. Look, one. <laughs> like, Dude, what the fuck? Who's, who's eating this? <laughs> I filled up my bath with blue Gatorade, and now I'm covered in blue. But my holes are also filled with ants. So then, again, I filled up my bath with blue Gatorade. Now every hole of mine has ants. And it feels kind of good because I filled up my blue Gatorade with ants. And now I'm covered in bath. But every hole of mine now has blue. So then, I filled up my holes with ants. And now I'm covered in blue Gatorade. But then, again... 
Okay, so I know this person was like trying to be rude or whatever because I guess my video hurt their feelings. But um, see, I like to interpret it as a warning and think that this person is actually uh, from the spiritual realm, traveling back in time from 11 years in the future when I am 35 and married with a family. And they're trying to warn me that this specific TikTok will be linked to an elaborate string of events that led to my husband's sudden disappearance. And it'll be up to me to solve the mystery and find him and bring him home. And I know that there's no way that's true, but I feel like until, until I'm 35, I won't know for sure. So yeah. So I was born in 1995. So I'm like right on the cusp between Gen Z and millennial. And I've always been like, am I Gen Z? Am I a millennial? I don't know. Um, but today I found out officially I am for sure a millennial. So you know how people will caption photos with IYKYK? So I found out today that that stands for if you know, you know. Whereas before, up until now, I thought it was just like how Gen Z people wrote laughing. Like instead of ha ha, they'd be like, ick, 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 ick. <laughs> What you are referring to, kind of, is called anogenital distance, which is the space between the butthole and the base of whatever junk you're working with. And you're right that statistically, your boyfriend's anogenital distance is going to be 50 to 150 percent larger than yours. However, your buttholes are in like the same place still. His junk is just further towards the front, if you know what I mean. Think of the butthole as like a starting place. His is further from it, and yours is closer to it. Random You're lady on jumps engine. on my jet ski. <laughs> Where you off to? Huh? You're on till death. Are we gonna go for a jet ski? I reckon you should hop on that boat. That hop on that boat, yeah. That, that one over there. Let's go fishing rods. What the f <laughs> Get the f Angela, mate, you're gonna have to hop off now. Please. Home time. Have you all ever had corn on the cob? Yes, I have corn on the cob. This is my, this is my first time trying corn on the cob. Yeah. Don't you think I would know? I'm an alien. I come, I come in peace with my corn on the cob. There's no wrong way to eat corn on the cob. Banana. So I'm from Russia, right? And now I'm getting my bachelor's in America. And let me tell you something crazy that I realized. When I first arrived to the States, I would always hear this thing. If you're first generation in your family to go to college or university, blah, 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 right? But the point is that that sentence never sounded right in my head. Why? I would just be like, why I never heard such thing before? And then it clicked. My parents went to university and their parents went to university and their parents went to university. Cause of communism, bitch! Education was free in Soviet Union. Not only free, bitch, you had to go to university. When I realized that, I was like, mm, you sneaky motherfucking communism. I see you, Soviet Union. ...that we have been humbled. I was ultimately humbled this week. I went on a date with a guy and like it went fine. I didn't really have any discernible opinion of him. It was just an average date. It what you know, whatever. But when he drops me back off before I get out of the car, um, he looks at me and he goes, Emma, can I be honest with you real quick? I said, Sure. Didn't know where I was going, but it was a first date, so I did not really care what he was about to say. He looks me dead in the eye, he goes, I just want you to know you are a very beautiful girl and you are very well spoken. That being said, you are incredibly strange. You are one of the weirdest people I've ever met. And I know that that is going to work for someone, but I don't see it working for me. And I said, you know what? I respect that. Thank you for telling me. Have a good night. So 
at least at least I'm hot hot and weird that's the vibe for the rest of the years being hot but so goddamn weird